Matthias from Bogotá, our last day in the city and in Colombia. We're going to make the most of it and start the day off right at the Plaza Valencia, a very famous food market where people come to eat and buy local produce. It's also featured on a Netflix cooking show, so it's got some global notoriety. Apparently, it's the best place for local food. So we're going to go check it out for ourselves and see if perhaps our best meal of the trip is one of our last. Yeah, so we're gonna go hopefully get some uh, good uh, content here without too many crowds. Let's check it out. So we're gonna take a whole look around inside first, see what's happening. I can hear quite a buzz already. Uh, sure. English. 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 Yes, yes. Okay, so. Look at that. That's good, isn't it? What are we eating here? Typical Colombiano. Desayuno. Yes. And? Uh, um, we could try a couple of different places. Shall we try here first? Yes, well, you can grab a breakfast or you can try whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Sit down. Yeah, I'll go for the full breakfast. Yes. What do you want? One momento. What? No, one momento. Just need to have a look. So we we'll say yeah. Yes. That's good. Hopefully we've chosen a good place. There's quite a few spots here, but I'm really hungry, so I'm looking forward to this. Here we have chefs cooking away in the kitchen. We have people preparing fresh tomatoes. Quite a nice vibe. We've come here quite early, so it's not too busy, but there's still, you know, a little bit of a buzz. No, no, is it just this side or the wall? No. No. Well, we ate breakfast, and we'll take a little look around at what we've got going on here in the market. Wow. Loads of different cooking stations, boiling up some potatoes. Hola. Hola. That looks delicious, they're making a the soup, the local famous soup, which is, um, it's quite delicious when done right, I think it would be doing one right. Clean up some potatoes for another dish. Wow. Let's take a look around what we've got here in the market itself. All kinds of produce, nuts, cheeses, meats, all local. Little snacks, fresh and frozen fish, frozen fish, yeah, and fresh meat, more meat. Wow, and then you have a little outdoor section here where you can get even little ice creams and refreshing things such as that. Another seating area to eat, another bistro. I like this place, it seems small from out front, but. It Stretches up quite a bit outside, and here we have places selling everything. And then this is the end. I'd imagine some of these are sometimes occupied, but not at this moment. Yeah, we've reached the end. Awesome. I like this place. I might spend an hour here and try something else outside. I'd imagine the restaurants sell different things. This one is limited to a breakfast menu at this time. However, there are other restaurants that might be serving some soups, they might be serving some meats. Let's just check it out in our own time. I'm gonna go sit back down. I've ordered a beer, which is probably gonna be here by now. Then I might check out some things to buy, some little snacks for the flight home. They're very uh, lenient with what you can take from security here in Colombia for the airport. You can take snacks, liquids, no problem. I think the main thing they're looking for is that you haven't got any of the old uh, Cafe Blanco. That's all they care about here. So anyway, let's get sat back down. Get ready for our breakfast. Very cool. Once you're done eating, there's a further market out back if you want any snacks and things like that. Or yeah, like, yeah, there's like loads. So yeah, there's like lots of different things, and there's even like different restaurants that serve different type of food. So I think we might even get around to. So we won't even need to bother about lunch. Is this a nice little uh, fresh lime and cilantro sauce, chili sauce? Gracias. 
to share it? Uh, I'm not sure. You can have some. Kick off the morning breakfast from Club Columbia, the right way. Baby went and ordered two broths, and I'm not complaining because it does look quite good. That's what they were making at the station that I saw earlier. We've got some nice big hunks of meat and some whole potatoes. We break those potatoes down and add a little bit of salt. So I don't believe that they've had any salt to the potatoes. They like things a little plain here. Oh, that is good. Yeah, yeah that is really good. It's like it in that flavour. I haven't tried it, but it's it's like, it just looks like water. Yeah, um, it's more flavourful than it looks. You get a lot of like fresh coriander taste out of it, a bit of meat. That makes it nice as well, gives it a little bit of spice, gives it a bit of a kick. Quite like it. It's refreshing. Let's see if I can get a little bit of the meat. It should be really tender and able to just break apart with a spoon. If not, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use my hands to break some free. Look at that, the bone just slides right out. Now we've broken that free, let's get a little bit of the meat. Most of the flavour of the meat has gone into the broth, but it's still fairly enjoyable. The broth itself is delicious, really good. It just tastes so healthy, like this would be the perfect setup for a, for a working day. But although we don't have work today, we do have a busy schedule ahead of us and a lot of travelling to, to look forward to, so we need the nutrition nonetheless. that he's just given us. They love the limes and the coriander. That's one thing you'll find everywhere. Limes, coriander, avocado. Everywhere you go. Let's see what that lime cake does to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that does, uh, that does improve it even more. Very good. Guys, yes. So, part of my breakfast has arrived. We have sort of an omelette and one of their pancakes. I think that's an Aripa. The Aripa. Turns out, Jamie didn't accidentally order two broths. My broth is part of the breakfast, but I went with an upgrade, essentially, that gives me some eggs and uh, an Aripa. So I'm going to use it to dunk some of this in. You can take some to dunk it if you want. So, yeah, we're all a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. Almost sweet, but no. Like, mixture of savoury and sweet. Almost like a savoury egg custard. It's very strange, but... Yeah, I'm good at custard too. So yeah. yeah, but I like it. I really need to try one of those by the street that's stuck with meat and everything in it because that'll be amazing. Well, we finished our breakfast, we're soaking in the nice little atmosphere. I love it here. It's not too busy, it's not too overwhelming. There's just a nice um, buzz going on, you know, it's just vibrant. We've got different stalls, peddling different things. You got a few customers, everybody's in pretty high spirits, it's just a pleasant way to spend your morning here in Bogota. Just taking it all in here at the market. Now I've noticed on the other side there is La Esquina de Marie, which is quite a famous stall here in the market. So I'm tempted after walking around, going there and checking something out. Con permiso. Yes, yes, finito. Maybe we'll have to just share a little something because I'm very full after that. I do want to try something from the famous store. For his favourite fruit since coming here. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's that one. Do you think? Mm. 
one you got is a massive though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It looks a little bit more like this size or something. Yeah, yeah. We're looking for a fruit, we have no idea what it what, what, do you remember what it was called? Sharon fruit. Sharon fruit. Sharon or Sharon? Sharon. Sharon fruit. No idea. I'm not really a fruit guy. Um, I wonder what it's called in Spanish. Pers oh, persimmon. Yeah, it's these then, I think. Yeah, it's these. These are smaller versions. Mm -hmm. Lovely fruit market. With everything you could want in here. Hmm? Um, I guess you just pick it up and buy it. What's this? Do I have to wash it off? You can eat them as they are. What's that? I had no idea. I'm not a fruit guy. I can tell you any type of meat, but I cannot tell you all these fruit are. These are taste good. I don't know what they are, but they taste good. <coughs> um, I think you just rip it open and eat the inside. Sí. <laughs> Here they sell the bags of them. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. See? Nothing. Um, I fucking made it for fruit. I know. Fruit, fruit, the, the fruit from like countries where it's tropical like this is good, but like at home it's not as good. What should I do? Just eat as it is? That's yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, just eat it as it is. Here we have all the herbs, plants for cooking. Amazing. You gonna get chopped, chop it off? I got to clean off. Ah. Can't remember did we eat the fox in yesterday? Um, I think you just like eat inside. Yeah. yeah. You like use the is use the shell and then you like just eat in the inside. Mm. There it is. That looks juicier than the one you got in Cartagena as well. Sour. It's smaller, but it's juicier. Sour. Mm. Let's have a look at the inside. Wow. Good? Good. Better than the one in Cartagena or? No. Wow. Well, they didn't pay for it, so. go back in. Yeah. I'm going to go back in, uh, we'll take a walk around the other side, and then we will. Um, I'm going to try something from. Uh, I can't remember the name, Mesquina de Mary, I think it's called. I want to try something there. Yeah, it's nice, sweet. More well, sour garden, sweet. Mm hmm. Delicious. It's creamy as well. Mm. That's my type of fruit. Mesquina de Mary, which is a very famous store here. And he's gone for the. Rum Colchon, which is the mattress breaker. Apparently it's really good to get you in the mood for taking someone to bed. Maybe not appropriate at 11 a.m. when we're not going to bed at any time soon. <laughs> How does it taste though? Is it good? It looks delicious. I'm going to try a piece of that. Oh, it's creamy, coconut, delicious. Now let's take a look at some of this stuff as it's cooking. I mean, look at this. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. All of this fish. So delicious. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. We have a whole catfish here. That is insane. Much better. Look at that fish. Oh, a whole meaty catfish in some delicious looking and smelling sauce. Mm. Mm. I'm glad I came back for you because this might be a highlight. Gracias. Help yourself, mate. There's loads. Mm. The sauce is creamy, coconut. It goes so well with the fish. I'm not sure what this is here. Is this like a yam? I'm not sure if that's a yam. 
Yeah, yeah. Wow. Very good. Now I think we have a little bit of um, we've got some soup here, similar to the one I had for breakfast. I'll we'll finish this. Delicious though. When you come to this market, come to this stall here in this corner, you will not regret it. This is where the, the real magic is at. Just look at it. What did you think to the fish? Alright, it's not my type of fish, but it's alright. Ew, it's so <laughs> serious conundrum here because this is so delicious and I don't want to leave it but I've got 14 hours left in Bogota and I can't be walking around off sleep I'm already really full so I'm gonna have to call defeat unfortunately let some of this delicious food go to waste but I managed to polish off the majority of the catfish which is the most important part for me you know I don't feel as guilty of wasting soup and rice as I would an entire delicious catfish my god this is the place to come. Coming up to lunchtime now, right around midday. We've been here for a couple of hours at least. The market is getting so much busier. In there you can hardly move. And the smells, there's just more of a variety of smells now that the lunch menus are operating around in the restaurants. I could smell like some grilled meat. If I wasn't so full from all that catfish and the soup, I'd be tempted to try some. And so sometimes I wish I had a bottomless stomach. Because there's just so many foods I want to try on my travels, but I'm only human, I can only fit so much, even though I do have a big belly, that's mostly because of beer, not food. It's, it has a much more limited capacity than it seems. Anyway, we're done with the market, a great experience. Now, we'll have to see the cable car.